Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star Lord New Thor 7 the T, and I am super laid back and chilled today and happy to be talking to you about weather. Isn't that beautiful? It is Mother Nature. But hey, guess what? We are now slowly moving into the annular solar eclipse that will be going over China and India. And so I imagine the weather's going to be pretty weird all over the globe. So we've got some yellow spots to watch, which means severe weather. And for who? I'm talking Norman, Oklahoma, Wichita Falls, Texas, which is where I played football my freshman year. Midland, Texas. I've been there twice. It's very interesting. Lawton, Oklahoma, and Odessa. You guys need to be on the lookout. And then those two states. I think they were listed in there. I don't know. Energy's weird today, man. You know what I'm talking about? And then tomorrow's Eclipse Day, and we got an avocado pit of doom and danger. Well, that's severe weather. You know, hail. We're talking Tulsa, Wichita, Kansas, Edmond, Oklahoma, Enid, and Kansas. And then Oklahoma City, Kansas City, which is actually in Missouri, Nebraska, Lincoln, and Iowa, you guys are going to be on the lookout because you've got a giant Reed Timmer avocado of doom. And Reed needs to do more sit-ups, I guess. And then day three, we've got a stunted banana of straight line winds, possible tornadoes, hail. We're talking Oklahoma, Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Iowa. So, and then quite a bit of rain for quite a few people. You know what I'm talking about? It's part of my standard weather routine. I do like to look at the 48-hour precipitation maps. And if we see red, we see that there can be some. Uh, that's where your severe weather is projected to be. Now, Mercury is retrograde, as are four other planets, including Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, and Pluto. Um, You might be like, Pluto's not a planet. I'm like, we must agree to disagree. Anyway, so you got some severe weather breaking in, and then a lot of the rain pushes through the central parts of the United States of America and on east. So stay aware. And as I record this, I can hear thunder coming from this patch of thunderstorms that are happening over Houston, Texas right now. I like, I like the rain. The tropics are pretty docile right now. And we've just got a giant injection of Saharan dust that everybody's freaking out about, even though it is a super defense maneuver. The Asteroid Fight Club slash Atmospheric Defense Team may or may not have done. It's still kind of boring to me. You know, dust is boring, man. Sorry. Sure, yeah, there's this thing, but I'm just not that worried about it, you know? It looks like it's going to be a pretty big storm, but for the fishes in the ocean. So most of our action will be taking place in these areas. And then it looks like you're getting some coming into the pack northwest. We're looking at the chance of some pretty decent rain over the next week for pretty much the coast of Texas into Houston and even east of there. Memphis is talking about widespread rain and cooler temperatures are returning to the Mid-South tomorrow. Expect one to three inches over the next few days. So there you go. There is your rain spot to pay attention to over the next few days. You know, Nick, I think Big Ben from Peanuts is more interesting than the Saharan Dust Boy. Yeah, we got a Father's Day, Eclipse Day. Avocado of severe, severe weather. Severe storms are possible from Father's Day Sunday into Monday across the plains and Midwest. Damaging winds are the biggest concern. But large hail and isolated tornadoes are possible, man. You better dodge that city tornado. No. Selena. Oh. Audie Murphy was an Army Texas total badass. And my dad and my stepdad were big fans of him. So I've been a big fan of him. Okay, great. Meredith Garofalo is updating us. We got a video from the front line of the Bush Fire burning northeast of Phoenix, Arizona. As of Saturday morning, fire has climbed nearly 
20,000 acres overnight to 174,397 burned with containment remaining at 7%. Evacuation orders are still remain in effect for several areas. I guess, you know, Arizona has more trees than, than I remember it did. I, I, I went there for a summer with my dad. But I don't remember a whole lot of trees in Arizona. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. But yeah, I expect weird weather around the eclipse, which means now and over the next 72 hours. Well, technically, the whole week after the eclipse, we expect it. Because it is an annual, which means sun. So here's that giant dust storm. Everybody's all like, hey, look, it's dusty. And it's going to be dusty. And so... The dust should reach the U.S. coast by the middle of next week. And then I'll have a bunch of photos of the dust. And it'll probably make for some really cool sunsets. And then just general weird crap will probably happen. James Wilson is letting us know that they've got gloom in California. But not inland where the sun and heat prevail. Okay. If you were like, hey, talk more about this dust storm. I'd be like, okay. Here is a map showing us how the dust is going to blow. Remember, this does decrease the chances of tropical cyclonic activation. So, that's great news. You know? But just in general, dust is boring. Uh, what was that strange sound? Well, it was the bushfire, which becomes now the seventh largest in Arizona's history. It's a mega fire, and it's still burning out of control. And I got a feeling we're going to have a really bad fire season this year for the Southwest. And also possible volcanoes and major earthquakes. They got a state of emergency in Norilsk after 20,000 tons of diesel leaks into the Arctic River system. <sighs> BB is pointing out the hours of daylight on the summer solstice with confusing bar graphs or millibar graphs. Or I don't even know. But yeah, the Tornado Titans letting us know we've got a couple of areas to watch for storm development this afternoon. And so, we are going to be watching out for them. You hear? Jet Reading Pal Ian has let us know we got some shells that are popping up east in the southeast of D.C. doing an impression of last night. Also, right in the instability bullseye. That's what she said? Hey, cloud trails. Yeah. We got multiple wildfires in the Sakha Republic, as seen by Sentinel. Yeah, that looks like a whole other planet, but it's not. It's Earth. And if you're looking for sad news, boy, have I got it. This is the happiness index for Americans, and apparently we were happiest at Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas? And then it's been downhill from there in 2020. Um. So we've had the, we had the saddest fortnight in a long, long, long time. I imagine the saddest of two weeks have happened in the last two weeks. There you go. Hey, Billy Eilish gets three year restraining order against trespasser. No, oh, good job, Billy. All right, here we go. Sorry that I'm so lackadaisical. Must have been those four and a half beers I drank last night. I love you guys, Astro Fight Club. You are incredible, and I will try and. Uh, finish cleaning my apartment and then I'll keep my one hand plugged into the matrix. So if anything major happens, I will let you guys know. But yeah, expect things to get weirder at the eclipse and then after. Okay. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Peace out.